Hi, this is Steve Strickland with CamTech Engineering, and today for MasterCam Monday, we're going to continue covering the solid chain enhancements in MasterCam 2020. This video will focus on the efficiency improvements in partial and edge chaining. As I mentioned last week, these enhancements will save you real time because they're minimizing the clicks needed, allowing you to do more while in a current operation. So let's jump in and take a look at partial and edge chaining. With partial solid chaining in 2020, we've gained the ability to add many partial chains within a single chaining session. So now we're able to add partial chains continuously as we've been able to do on previous mask versions in wireframe chaining. So to illustrate this, let's go ahead and add a simple contour and make sure we have partial loops enabled. And what I want to do here is I want to put a contour along this edge and a contour along this back edge here um, and setting my chains up in a single session. So I want to select this as my starting point. I'm going to say OK. It looks like Master Cam selected the correct face here. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to pick the end of my chain. So now, instead of saying OK and having to re-enable re my chain dialog, I'm going to simply go up here, go to View, go to Translucency, and start my next chain to be here. Say OK to the face. And then I want to get that back edge as my end point. Gonna say OK. I'm gonna go out here and select a uh, eighth of an inch flat end mill. Say OK, OK, and there we go. We have two tool paths here, two co two contours, and they were set up with two partial chains within the same chaining session. Now I'm gonna take a look at the time saving enhancements with edge chaining. I'm gonna do so by going over to geometry, right click, and say Add, and make sure that I'm on edges and no longer on partial loops. Once one edges, if I go over here to the edge and I hold down shift as I select my first edge, Mastercam is going to return out all edges that are tangent to my initial edge selected. I can also go to a disconnected edge, select, and use the next key to walk it around to where I want my chain to end. And what these enhancements are really giving us is the ability to do more chaining within a single chaining session and not have to apply and reopen our chaining dialog and that's saving us clicks and it's saving us a lot of time over the long run. So this is going to close out our Mastercam Monday on the solid chaining enhancements in Mastercam 2020. We hope you found this useful and we hope you tune in every Monday as we walk through the Mastercam 2020 release. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.